Hello everyone and welcome back to the Zero Fossil Fuel Show. I'm Zero, your host, and today we're going to talk about the calibration procedure of the electronic fuel injection enhancer. The Honda is running in the background. I have meters now on the current looking at the cell as well as a second meter, the yellow meter in front next to the volume measurement device. This yellow meter at the front is measuring two volt scale uh, attached to the uh, one of the two oxygen sensors in the car. But before I go any further, I want to express my extreme annoyance with YouTube. For those of you who have been attempting to post comments on my videos and and respond to them, uh, my sincerest apologies. For not even I can go in there and view them to approve them so that everyone can see them. I am extremely pissed off right now. Uh, please bookmark this site, zerofossilfuel.angelfire.com. Uh, at this site, I will be posting links to all of the current video production on this project. And very shortly, if YouTube doesn't get their act together, I will be posting all future videos someplace else more reliable. I've about had it with YouTube. This is like the second or third time that I've had some sort of some sort of screw up, and um, I'm done. I'm I'm done messing around with these guys. <coughs> I've um, improved the focus a little bit and the contrast. I hope uh, I hope the the appearance is a little bit better for you. First thing I want to show you is the actual electronic fuel injection enhancer. This is the circuit board that I've created. I uh, apologize if uh, it does not focus very well because uh, it is now focused for the, the distance of the engine compartment. But right here you will see this is the LM7812 12 volt voltage regulator. This is the 555 timer chip that creates an AC voltage from the 12 volts DC. The AC voltage goes through this transformer which has a dual secondary. Down here are the two full wave rectifier bridges that take the two separate AC outputs of the transformer, rectify it back to DC. It is filtered with these two capacitors and adjusted with these two potentiometers. The way this is attached to the vehicle is it is inserted in series with each of the oxygen sensors and each oxygen sensor is calibrated independently. Uh, the cell right now today is cold. Uh, I'd also like to point out here, I've made a, one small modification to the volume collection, the, the gas collection device. And what I've done is taken a 2 liter soda bottle, cut the sides off, slid it up the side, and just wrapped it around the existing um, column. So that as the 500 milliliter bottle rises inside, I don't have to worry about fumbling around with holding it in place and holding it steady. It can just rise on its own until it starts to bubble through, and it works extremely well. So it's a small modification that made my life a lot easier. Okay, well you're going to have to take my word for it. I took a measurement earlier, and uh, the current draw on the cell, cold, not warmed up as opposed to last evening is 10 amps when it warms up it will it will slowly rise to 15 amps so at 10 amps we're going to measure the uh, gas production volume output I'm going to turn the cell turn the cell on it begins to bubble Ouch. it's hot wow open up the valve Collection device is beginning to rise. This will give us also an idea of uh, efficiency versus temperature. Now, I do expect the the volume gas, the gas volume production to be lower than it is at 15 amps, but is it 33 percent lower? That's the question. How linear is the efficiency? Uh, So the amount of the amount of gas per watt in does it remain the same or does that change as the as the cell warms up also? This is one of the things we'll be looking at. We're about two thirds full and at forty four seconds, which is where we produced five hundred milliliters last night. Stop. Minute and ten seconds. In a minute and ten seconds, or seventy seconds. 
I am uh, I've produced 500 milliliters of gas at 9.75 amps instead of 15 amps so that is that is about 66 percent as fast as it was last night if I uh, crunch those numbers I think we'll that will bear bear that out so that's 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 a good finding I'm going to turn the electrolyzer cell off. The electrolyzer cell is now connected to the Venturi where the HHO is injected. So it just needs to make a short trip from the top of the electrolyzer canister through the one-way check valve into the bubbler. Makes a short trip over the top of the plenum down into the side where I have the, the Venturi installed. So when I turn on the electrolyzer cell, what's going to happen is, as I'm monitoring the, the voltage on the oxygen sensor with this meter right here, the voltage should fluctuate as the HHO gas begins to flow. The difference in the fluctuation, or the, the, the difference in the average value that I, that I record here, is going to be the baseline number that I start with for the injection voltage of the electronic fuel injection enhancer. Typically what will happen is the voltage will drop as the HHO begins to flow. Now a drop in voltage as the HHO begins to flow is the automobile's way of attempting to compensate for the added oxygen that it sees coming out of the exhaust, <coughs> which in effect sabotages the potential efficiency gains that you're hoping to achieve by adding the HHO in the first place. So what we need to do with the EFIE or EFI for short is we need to rebalance the equation. So as I as I turn on the uh, switch for the HHO I'm going to be watching the average value of the digital multimeter and see how much it shifts when I add the HHO. Now with the screwdriver I'm going to raise the RPMs of the engine a little bit so that we heat up the oxygen sensor to its operating temperature. And I'm seeing roughly 600 millivol 650 millivolts. I turn on the HHO. It begins to flow. And now I'm seeing someplace in the order of 500 millivolts. So it looks like the the ECU in the car with the oxygen sensor is is uh, enriching the mixture, signified by a 100 millivolt drop in the output of the oxygen sensor. That therefore, when I install the electronic fuel injection enhancer, my baseline value that I'm going to start with as an offset voltage will be 100 millivolts, and I'll probably work my way up from there to uh, make the mixture a little bit leaner uh, and that that will be my starting point so once again keep your eye on zerofossilfuel.angelfire.com where I might possibly find a new home for all of these videos I will also be posting uh, still photos and schematic diagrams of all of the equipment that I am producing here so that you will be able to construct this project from the beginning using just the plans that you will find at that web address. That's all for now. Zero Fossil Fuel signing out. Have fun with your HHO. Please be careful.